What's going on, everybody? My name is Donald Roll, the older brother of Iceman, Isaiah Roll, and welcome to He Lives, Heaven's Live Video Devotional. And the word on the street is coming from Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 31 through 34. It's a pretty powerful scripture. I'll read it for you. It says this. This is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write it write it on their hearts i will be their god and they will be my people no longer will they teach their neighbors or say to one another know the lord because they will all know me from the least of them to the greatest i love that phrase that the lord says i will write my law on their minds and on their hearts you know when you look at crime investigation a lot of different shows that come on tv a lot of them deal with crime scene investigations, and one of the number one ways to catch a criminal and to know exactly who he is is simply from his fingerprints. His fingerprints, our fingerprints, all hold the secret, unlocking thing to our identities, who we truly are. When you leave your fingerprint, because it's so unique and because it's so distinct and because we each have our own, we know who you are, who you truly are, your characteristic, your personality. Your profile is all written simply in your fingertips, your fingerprints. And God did the same thing. In Exodus, the Bible says or lets us know that he wrote the Ten Commandments with his finger in stone. That means that he was dead serious about what he was writing. He was purposeful about what he was writing. And he wanted to transfer who he was into what he was writing because he wrote it with his finger. God could have looked with his eyes. He could have thought it. He could have did all those things, but he wrote it with his finger. And I like to think that God sort of left his fingerprints all over the commandments so that whenever people sort of dusted and did their research on where these things came from, the identity of God, the transcript of his character, his complete profile is written in his law. But our verse tonight goes even deeper than writing on stone. The Bible says that God wants to write his law on your heart and on your mind. That means he doesn't just want you to know it. He wants you to feel it. He, does, he doesn't just want it to be around you, but he wants it to be in you so that the very thing that he puts on you holds the identity of who he is so that you begin to become like him because his fingerprints leaves his identity. And when God begins to touch your heart and begins to touch your mind and to leave his fingerprints and his identity all over you and you allow it and you begin to love it and you frequently have received touches from God every day. He begins to leave imprints of who he is all over you. So that when people begin to do the forensic research on you, they begin to see the identity of God written all over your heart and all over your mind. Only people who are in a special, a deeply special relationship with God can keep the commandments, are able to keep the commandments. Those who are not in a special union with God can't do it. They're not able to do it because it's something that needs to be written on our hearts and on our minds. And so I encourage you to do this. Go home. If you're home, stay home and pray and say, Lord, I want you to write on my heart your letters, your law, your ways, your will, so that I begin to naturally do it, so that I actually want to do it. I mean, come on, who really wants to keep a whole bunch of laws? You really just want to take a list of laws and add it to your life and just live under that thing. But God, do something special. Put it on my heart and put it on my mind so that it's close to me so that I normally and naturally want to keep it. God lives. He lives.